Okay, welcome to Power Shelf update number four. So where we left off last time was I showed you the spreadsheet of all these numbers um, and how they added up to different capacities for the different groups. In the ideal world, they all they all end up to be the same capacity, so they're nicely balanced um, capacity-wise. But I had clearly bungled that part of the process, and so this one is way higher than the average. Um, this one is lower, this one is lower, the other ones are kind of okay. And I would have left it to run the course of seeing how long it took to, to drift out of whack if it were not for a proposal from one of my viewers, um, YouTube user Spankme Vahimush, otherwise known as Spankme, um, the Spankme proposal was a reorganisation of these uh, such that this group here would be bang on the average, it would have a zero divergence from the average of the whole pack. This would be zero, this would be zero, this would be zero, this would be zero, this would be three milli amperes away from the uh, pack average, and this would be zero. And that was such a beautiful reorganization that I feel like I've Basically, I have to, just for the pure mathematical um, enjoyment of having them so ridiculously close. Um, it is amazing to me that he was able to um, take the group of cells that I'd already collected and made such a bungling mess of uh, and create such an almost perfectly purely balanced um, pack as far as the capacity numbers go. Now, I do have to point out that the, these capacity readings are measured using my eye charger and also my um, Opus BT3100 and you can't rely on them being precise or accurate, either precise or accurate, um, uh, my assumption is that they're within 100 milliamp hours, possibly, or even worse. So to make a, um, to reorganize in a way that gives you zero divergence from the, the average, um, whilst it's mathematically beautiful, in reality is not actually, um, perfectly balanced because these numbers will be slightly out or sometimes um, grossly out um, and the degree to which they're out or accurate uh, I do not know. Uh, so I am going to reorganize them uh, to fit the, um, the spank me proposal otherwise known as the spank me procedure. Uh, so first of all I'm going to pull all these out and reorganize them. Right, okay. So this is going to be a bit slow and tedious because I have to search for the right Cells. Now that one, one, two, three, four, that one goes right there. Uh, one of the other things that um, the Spinkley proposal achieves, the Spinkley pr procedure, uh, is spreading the lowest capacity cells across the the seven groups.
And uh, Let's, let's do the numbers. Nine, nine. The time is now 10.01. And so the numbers are... I'll wait for it to come round. Slowly, slowly. Here we go. 88, 86, 85, 87, 90, 83, 89. Three point. <coughs> well, I can see already the voltages are more balanced, less unbalanced than they were before this exercise. So it is looking like mm, balancing the capacities has also already balanced the voltages, which kind of makes sense. Um, I'll slap it back in the main pack and we'll mm, measure it again. And then we'll see what it's like tonight, when I get back from work. Okay. So the voltages have jumped up a tiny bit, which you'd expect now that I've plugged it back into the main pack. Um, and we shall now track that and see how this pack goes at staying balanced or drifting out of balance now that it's been sorted properly. Thank you very much to um, spank me very much. Uh, the YouTube user who um, showed me um, how I should have done it in the first place. Alright, thanks for watching. Cheers.